Welcome to your weekly inspiration. I'm your host, Joey Sampaga. And I'm Kathy Beckman. How you doing, Kathy? I'm doing great. How you doing, Joey? I'm doing good. Are you inspired again this week? I've been very inspired. I'm <laughs> giggly. You are giggly. Yes. Why are you so giggly? Well, actually, let me take that back. Okay. Men don't giggle. You don't? No, we that don't. sounded like a giggle. But <laughs> have, like... <laughs> so why are you so happy and why are you so inspired? You know, I'm just so happy because I got to wake up today and just enjoy the Arizona weather. Oh my God. I tell you, I love living here. Oh, yeah. And my drive in, I was just talking to somebody from Wisconsin, and I'm from Buffalo, mm -hmm. New York. Mm -hmm. And um, we were just both talking about how much we appreciate living here. So. Mm. Yes, I love it. And I love coming into work. That's right. I said that last time. <laughs> yes, you did. And I will always love coming into work. And is it really work for you, Jay? It really is not work. That's good to hear because yes. you know why? That's the topic of this week's inspiration. Mm. The third of the Inca laws, and if you missed the first two, they're on. Are they on this? Yeah, side? they're on this arc. That's the right. archives right over there. They're here. somewhere. Yeah, it's right this way. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the third law is the law of work, and you know we think of the the word work as uh, a drudge. Mm, oh, yes. God, I've got to go to work. Mm -hmm. But think about how wonderful it would be if we didn't even use the word work anymore. You know, we just got up and we gave back. We were productive. Mm. We did what um, we gave our talents back. We yes. Took, we took inspired action and gave back. You know, a, a really great example of this actually, and maybe not everyone out there will get it. Mm -hmm. But do, do you ever watch Star Trek? Uh, you know, I do. Which one? All of them. Um, yeah, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Next Generation fan. Personally. Okay, okay, okay. And um, but it, but it holds throughout all the series. You know, Gene Roddenberry had a pretty amazing vision of our future. And if you notice, the Star Trek, they never really worked. They all brought their talents to the table, and they were all just they were all productive. They didn't complain. You never heard, you know, oh, it's time for my shift, or oh, I have to go to work. It was just they were productive. They were giving back. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I was talking to a friend of mine recently, and he's in a situation where a wife of his, not mentioning any names, okay, um, is not working. And not only is she not working, but she's not really being productive. Mm. And what happens? You know, she's she's not happy with herself. She's not giving back. She's not contributing. Mm -hmm. So she's she's just slowly getting. I just think of it as like a flower. She's slowly, slowly withering away and, and not really um, being productive. Mm. I know that there are a lot of people out there who've probably gone through those stages themselves. Absolutely. Me personally, yep. when, when I feel depressed or whatever in my back way, way back then, yep. I just sit on the couch and just watch TV and not do anything. Yep. And I was tired of not doing anything. And I didn't want to do anything. Yeah, and the more you do nothing, the more of nothing you want to do. I mean, it's it's a cycle. And I'm sure that with the way the economy is right now mm. and what's going on in the world, there's a lot of people out there doing the same thing, you know, putting That's their right. head in the sand or putting their head between their hands and just mm -hmm. waiting for somebody to rescue them and bail them out. And you know what? That doesn't happen. We really have to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and start taking one step at a time to move forward. And, you know, one of the ways to do that is to really think about what your passion is. Mm -hmm. Think about what's inside. What do you enjoy doing? Um, we talked a little bit about that last week. Yes. Um, figuring out what your passion is, going back to your childhood. What are those things that you love to do? Well, hopefully in the last week you've spent a little bit of time thinking about that. Mm -hmm. And now let's take the next step and actually take those inspirations and put them into action. So mm. take inspired action. Yes. Um, a great example that I give is um, when you go to a seminar, you know, you go to an all-day seminar and what mm -hmm. happens? The longer you're there, the more pumped up oh, you get. Oh, yes. And while you're sitting in that room and you're feeling that energy, you're going to go out and you're going to conquer the world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to get back, make the phone calls I need to make, send the thank you cards I'm going to do, get my, or my day organized, and then what happens the very next day? I'll do it tomorrow. Right. <laughs> and you slowly go back into um, your old habits. That's right, where you're comfortable. Where and, you're comfortable, yeah. but you're not moving forward, you're not growing. Mm -hmm. So if we just take small steps, okay. 
small steps, um, but it's but it's action. Mm -hmm. You know,、um, the law of attraction is nothing without action. That's、right? true. That's true. It would just be at、mm -hmm. the law of at. <laughs> 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 exactly. You know, and、exactly. think about it. It's the law of at. Well, you're right here. To get to move forward, you need action.、Mm -hmm. So you need the whole at action. It's attraction. Sure. So、um, if you just think about taking one step, even one step a day.、Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to lose weight, walk around the block.、Mm. You know, while you're walking around the block, think of those things that really inspire you, that you love, and think about how you can put those into your daily tasks, your job, your career. And、um, start taking action. Mm -hmm. Work. Mm -hmm. And how brilliant were the Incas? I mean, they、uh -huh. only had three laws that they lived、yes. by. So if you think about all three of them and, and incorporate them, they've got the law of love,、mm -hmm. right? To approach every situation with love, love your neighbors, love the earth,、mm -hmm. to teach, to to think about what your God-given talents are,、mm. right?、Um, cultivate those. And then the third and probably the most important step. Is to act on them. You know,、yes. they called it work, but it's really the action.、Mm -hmm. Don't just sit there and think, "Gee, I'd love to be a writer." Or, Boy,、mm -hmm. I'd really love to ski. <laughs> yeah, you know, just do it. Take steps. Sure. Take steps towards it. So the third law is probably the most important and wraps it all up. It's work, taking action. Wow, this is this is great, Kathy.、Thank、so、you. the question that I have for everybody、yes. is, what is going to be your first step? Only、mm. takes one step. You know, One step after another to walk through that door, right? You know, I have an idea. Why don't you send us what your first step is? I love it. And we would love to hold you accountable to it. Yeah, let us be your accountability partner. Yeah, click partners. on submit. Submit a comment over here. Let us know what your first step is going to be, and we'll check in with you next week. We will. <laughs> so until then, have a inspired week. Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, that was like a mini snort. <laughs> We could have like a whole collage of Kathy snorts. I know <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> And go ahead, try and pronounce that one. What? No. I. <laughs> <laughs>